The $55 million project will see the construction of a 1,300-seater multi-purpose conference hall, two 500-seater lecture halls, two mute courts, a 50-seater unit office facility and administration block, among others. The project is expected to be completed in November 2021. Acting Director of the Ghana School of Law, Maxo Opoku Ajimai, says the Law Village will help the school admit more students in the coming years. It is our hope that the contractors of this project will not be like Ghanaian contractors where after short cutting this project becomes a white elephant. We hope and pray that we as management will constantly pay visit to this place to ensure that whatever happens, we are able to admit fresh students this place by November as promised. Your Excellency, this project is essential in the sense that the law school currently runs a triple track system where almost all our facilities are choked after admitting over 1,000 students the last academic year. Without the completion of this project, it will be very difficult to admit fresh students to start the new academic year. Attorney General and Minister of Justice, Godfrey Dami, says the new law village will help increase the number of lawyers needed in the country. As we provide a sound and congenial atmosphere for the pursuit of professional law course, the need for students to apply themselves tenaciously to the pursuit of their studies becomes an absolute imperative. The fiscal development of the law school must be complemented by a sound intellectual development of end user facilities, the students. The central call to being a lawyer, apart from being integrity and other noble virtues, is the acquisition of raw legal knowledge, a dedication to excellence in the law, careful and serious training, industry and meticulousness, surely are ultimately rewarding for the lawyer. President Akufado says the Law Village project is one of the many infrastructure projects the government intends to implement to give the Ghana School of Law a facelift. It is my expectation that the completion of the Law Village project will expand access to legal education without compri compromising on its quality and ultimately assisting the administration of justice throughout the country. As many more lawyers are trained, it is my hope that indeed many more of them will join the public sector to enhance the quality of legal service delivery in the sector. I assure all of you that this project is the beginning of greater things to come for the Ghana School of Law.